Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. Today I'm going to show you how to save money on Mac software when shopping online. So what better place to buy Mac software than at the Apple Store, right? And here we are, just about to buy a copy of Leopard. But can we do better than the $129 price tag? Let's go and take a look at some other sites. Small Dog Electronics at smalldog.com is another great place to buy Mac software. They have it for about the same price. Actually, even $0.99 cents more expensive. Let's go ahead and look at another Mac site, expercom.com. And we see, ah, here's a little bit of savings. We get it for just under $120, this site. Let's continue with newegg.com, a well-known gadget, software, and computer site. And hey, that's got it for $110. And also, if we go to good old Amazon.com, we also see it's for $110. And a lot of these sites offer free shipping, including the last two. So you can see there's a lot better deals out there for getting Leopard than buying them directly from Apple. So while the Apple Store may not be the best on price, it still may have some advantages. For instance, the Apple Store may be the only place locally to just get a retail box of some Mac software right now. Whereas ordering online, you have to wait a few days for shipping. Here's another one. iLife 08 standard is $79 at the Apple Store. At Small Dog Electronics, it's $79.99. At Expercom, we get a discount here, it's $75. Newegg, we get it for $69.99. And Amazon's got it for $68.99. So another example of different prices and better prices at other sites besides Apple.com. So there are two hidden costs of buying anything online. There's shipping and there's sales tax. Now, shipping of course varies from site to site and there's a lot of offers of free shipping out there. But make sure you check the free shipping and see how long that's going to take. Sometimes it takes a lot longer than the shipping you pay for. And then check to see what the total shipping cost will be and see how much you'll save by buying it in a nearby retail store like your nearby Apple store. Okay, so sales tax. Now a lot of sites uh, let you get away without paying sales tax. Some charge you sales tax like Apple.com. Here's the thing, if you get away with not paying sales tax in all states that charge sales tax, they expect you to pay that anyway. It's called use tax. Now, most individuals don't even know this exists and get away with not paying it when buying small items online. But if you're buying things like copies of Photoshop online for your small business, then you might expect the state to catch up with you if you don't pay sales tax or use tax. Ask your accountant about that. Now you can also do this for non-Apple software. For instance, say you want to buy a new copy of standard Photoshop from Adobe. Here it is at Adobe site for $6.49. Now if we look at some other sites, we see that it's also $6.49 at Expercom. But at Newegg, it's $6.29.95 and $6.29.99 at Amazon. But Small Dog Electronics has it for $6.09.99. So in this case, Small Dog is the winner. This is also true for games. Apple selling Guitar Hero 3 for about 70 bucks. And if you look at a lot of other sites, you actually find that that's a pretty good deal. It's as much as $80 at other sites. But Amazon's got it for $60. Now if you don't mind shopping at some sites you've never heard of before, one trick is to go to Google and actually type in the name of the product you're looking for. So for instance, let's type in iLife. And once you get to the results page, go to the top and click on Shopping. And what you're going to get here is a whole bunch of different prices for the product you're looking for from all sorts of different stores. Now there's a lot of different problems with this type of thing. For instance, here it claims that you could find $13 copies of iLife. And you'll find out if you click on that that that's not really true. It shows a store there selling it for $13, but if you look closely, it's something called the iLife 08 Media Set. So you've got problems like that where the keyword searches in shopping aren't exactly going to show you what you want, but sometimes this will turn up a little gem. Some store you might have heard of or are willing to try selling it for much less than everybody else. So the basic idea here is to learn to shop around. Don't just assume that the price at the main site like Apple or Adobe is the best price out there. It usually isn't. Go ahead and look at Amazon, look at a whole bunch of other sites, find a good deal, from a company you trust and order from them. Until next time, this is Gary Rosenzweig with MacMost Now.